There are many reasons why I love Sony as a video game publisher. They know how to put out quality games, they have been less inclined to fall prey to insidious monetization schemes, and PlayStation paved the road to some of the most iconic and beloved gaming experiences in history. PlayStation 4 is the most popular video game console right now for a reason. It's got a varied and incredible library of games that's unmatched by other platforms. History has proven time and again that in the end, what sells a console isn't the power of its hardware, but rather the quality and variety of its software, and Sony's got that nailed down. But there are a few qualms that I've had with the company lately, chief among them being their stance on cross-play and cross-saves. The discussion became particularly heated when players found out without warning that linking their Epic Games account, where all Fortnite progression is stored, to PlayStation 4 would result in the account being permanently locked out of being used on competing platforms out outside of PC and mobile. This was particularly upsetting for those who were looking forward to taking Fortnite on the go with the Switch version, only to find that they'd have to make a brand new account and lose all progress because of Sony's restrictions. Since then, Sony has provided a number of empty reassurances and boilerplate statements about the matter, but their latest statement may just be the worst one yet. The following information comes from website The Independent, who recently transcribed a statement provided by Sony CEO Kenichiro Yoshida when speaking at the IFA Technology Show in Berlin. When addressing the backlash the companies faced regarding their limitations on cross-play and cross-saves, particularly where Fortnite is concerned, the reason Yoshida provided was basically because he thinks the competition isn't good enough. Here's what he had to say. On cross-platform, our way of thinking is always that PlayStation is the best place to play. Fortnite, I believe, partnered with PlayStation 4, is the best experience for users. That's our belief. But actually, we already opened some games as cross-platform with PC and some others, so we decide based on what is the best user experience. That is our way of thinking for cross-platform. Wow, this right here is some EA level of arrogant horseshit coming out of the guy's mouth. I don't know what suddenly gave him the right to decide for us what the best platform to play Fortnite on is, or how we get to use our Epic Games account. This is giving me flashbacks to when EA previously said that players are making the mistake of saying that they know what they want, and how the company wants to curate our gaming experiences for us, implying we can't think for ourselves. If people truly find PS4 to be the best platform to play Fortnite on, then they will naturally gravitate towards it without any arm ringing, plain and simple. Though at this point, some might argue that PS4 is actually the worst place to play Fortnite, because doing so comes with a compromise. PS4 is currently the only platform right now where linking your Epic Games account will result in it permanently being locked down and crippled. But even looking past all that, we all know that for Sony, limiting crossplay and cross saves is absolutely not about trying to look out for the interests of consumers. They have tried to sell us on this notion multiple times, like when PlayStation marketing head Jim Ryan said that blocking Minecraft crossplay was about looking out for younger folks with the PlayStation curated universe and protecting them from external influences. There's that word, curated, which EA used recently to talk about how they want to use information regarding players' habits to control aspects of how we play EA games. Publishers use that word, curate, to laud the idea of controlling every aspect of how we play games, as if to suggest that's a convenience for us, but the reality is that the only ones this benefits is the companies. The more they can curate our experience, the more power they will have to fine-tune all the little dials and toggle whatever few switches in our games to maximize revenue. So let's be real here, Sony, you're limiting cross-play for no other reason than to make more money. And a lot of games Gamers and developers feel as though this is to their expense. Yes, even developers have expressed their disdain towards Sony's stubbornness on this matter, particularly Bethesda. Todd Howard went on record to say that the folks over at PlayStation are not being as helpful as he'd like them to be for Fallout 76 crossplay. And more recently, Pete Hines was adamant about crossplay or at least cross saves being non negotiable for Elder Scrolls Legends. You know, Sony could at least have the decency 
of not pretending like their stubborn stance is about protecting consumers or trying to make our lives better. Kind of like how EA needs to stop saying that loot boxes benefit us because they give us player choice or whatever bullshit. They could at least stop using gamers as a scapegoat for their shenanigans. And hell, if they're going to go out of their way to sell us on this obvious lie, they could at least do a good job at it instead of providing a justification as arrogant as we have chained your account to our console because we think PlayStation 4 is the best place to play Fortnite. So we'll make the decision of what platform you get to play play Fortnite on for you. It's one of those lies that not only insults our intelligence, but also exudes egotism. Just once, I'd like Sony to say something of substance about the matter, instead of playing us for fools or trying to delay discussion with your typical we're listening to feedback response. The thing that particularly baffles me about all this is that in the long term, limiting crossplay and cross saves seems to be doing more harm than good. Enabling the feature is really not going to give the competition that much of a leg up, as some might suggest. People bought PS4s for its incredible lineup of exclusives, with multi-platform games like Fortnite being the cherry on top, and as long as Sony continues its streak of high-quality releases, lifting cross-play restrictions will change nothing. Or at the very least, it'll do much less harm than the mounting negative PR on the matter. It just feels like a lot of hassle for diminishing returns. I get the sense, however, that come next generation, Sony will lift cross-play and cross-saves restrictions. It's something that both gamers and developers have been asking for. It's a feature that both Nintendo and Microsoft will likely keep now that they're fully embraced braced it, and when the console race resets, if PS5 turns out to be the only platform restricting crossplay, then it could cripple initial sales, kind of like how Xbox One was initially crippled by all of Don Matrix's dumb decisions and restrictions that Sony then viciously exploited. Sony surely must know that similar ramifications for them is entirely possible. So my feeling is that they're trying to squeeze out as much out of their dominance with PlayStation 4 before everyone's back to square one when next gen begins, at which point they'll have no choice but to play along. As I've said before, I feel like it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, especially with the world becoming more interconnected every year, and as features like crossplay become more and more standard in our games. It just feels inevitable that Sony will eventually have to yield. But as I like to say when I'm not 100% sure about something, only time will tell. In the meantime, I'd love to hear what your take is on Sony's latest justifications on cross-play limitations and how you think Sony will handle the requested feature in next gen in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. On. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.